So I'll be first starting off with a fresh face and taking my MAC Prep and Prime Primer Stick and I'm going to be placing that all over my face so we can prime for our Born This Way Too Faced foundation. This one is in the shade Almond. It's a little bit lighter for my face but I am going to recommend that you guys take more of a whiter face just so we look more ghouly and I'm also going to be taking some Tarte Shape Tape to apply over the areas where it didn't cover very much and I'm not going to be applying that under my eyes just so we look a little bit more tired which is the goal. And I'm also going to be setting that with some Too Faced powder. And of course, taking my Morphe 350 palettes, I'm going to be contouring my cheeks with some cool toned browns and just going around my face in a three motion, but making sure that I do chisel out my jawline very much as well as my cheekbones. And now with the Morphe 350 palette, we're going to be going ahead and going in with that orange shade and just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions and keep going in with deeper and darker gradients of orange just to give that very ombre effect. And as well with all the colors that I'm taking on the very top, I'm going to also be placing them on my lower lash line just so it evens out and everything is completely even. Now deepening up the look, we're taking the red shade in the palette and the orange and mixing them together and eventually just using the red shade just to make it a little bit darker, make a little bit more sultry and more sunken in looking and of course taking that same red shade and placing it on the lower lash line. And of course, after we're done blending, I'm going to be taking that same transition brush that we took earlier with the orange shade and just running it on the edges of the eyeshadow so it looks more seamless and blend it out. Then after, I'll be taking my LA Girl Black Primer base and I'm going to be placing that onto where I want to apply my black shadow. Then I'm taking a synthetic brush and just blending it out as if we're doing a cut crease and we will be placing a Morphe 350 blackish shade they didn't really have a black shade in here so i used the darkest gray brown and it worked just as good when applying the shadow you want to make sure that you are completely pressing it into the eye and then afterwards we are going to be taking a very small blender brush that's clean of course and then just scraping the edges of the black along with the orange don't be blending up too much and then of course we have to take that same shade and put it on the lower lash line but very slightly so we don't look like we have raccoon eyes and then after we're going to be taking our urban decay perversion liner and i'm going to be lining my water lines and making it a lot more darker than it is and of course taking my glitter glue by Too Faced which is my all-time favorite and on top I'm going to be placing this glitter that I got from online make sure that it is cosmetic glitter it's just a very beautiful orange shade and I'm just pressing that onto my entire lid but I'm also leaving a little bit of the black in the inner and the outer corners just so we do see that smokiness coming through. Then to finish off the eyeshadow look, we're going to be taking that same red shade and just placing it on the outer edges and this is going to give that darkness and gradient effect that we want. Then after that, of course, we have to put on some mascara. This one that I have here, I'll be putting it all in the description. All the products will be down in the description box below, but it has become my new favorite. It is so amazing and I'm taking these Eyelore lashes. They're pretty thick and they are beautiful. They make it look a little bit darker. Then of course setting our face, waiting for our face to get a little tacky and then taking our Artist Couture Highlighter. I'm going to be placing this wherever I normally do place highlighter. We do want to glow even though we are pretty much a dead glam girl. And we're going to be taking this Liquid Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, my favorite. And now time for us to transform. We're taking some fake blood and some flesh in a bottle and we're going to be taking a cosmetic wedge and just kind of carving out our contour. That's pretty much the purpose of this look. We want our contour to be cut literally so sharp that we're literally dripping in blood. 
Then after that latex is laid down, we're going to be taking some little bits and pieces of torn up toilet paper and we're going to be laying it down in different ways and making it sure that it's very lumpy and gross looking so when we place some more latex on top, we want to make sure that it is very textured. So when all of that is dry, we're going to be placing some black, some red, some purples and making it look like it is our flesh literally bleeding and cuts from how sharp our contour is. And now we're going to be moving on to the nose. I wanted it to be a very gory but still glam look. So since we always say we want our noses to be snatched, I literally snatched it off. It is nowhere to be found. Our nose is literally ripped out of our face. And going through the process one more time, wherever you want the wound, lay down some latex. Place some textured toilet paper over top and then set it in place with another layer of latex. And then as you can see here, I'm just taking some scissors, but I do recommend you take something a little bit more safe. I don't recommend you using scissors. It's just what I had laying around. Take something safer like a spatula that you use for foundation and just rip up the centers of the latex and make sure that you texture it as much as possible make it look more like a wound like it's open and then after you have that all set and down i'm actually going to be transitioning over to my anastasia modern renaissance palette since it does have more of the reds and the purples and the darker shades i'm going to be filling it in with my la girl primer base in the shade of the lac and then I'm also going to be blending it out with a synthetic brush and then once we have that all blended out how we like that's going to be our base for the rotten look. I'm also going to be taking it on the edges. I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia palette taking that red and brownish shade making like a maroon shade and placing that in with a fluffy brush. Also to detail, I did take more of like a pencil brush or a synthetic brush just to make sure that I do pack it into the places where you can still see the white from the toilet paper and I'm making sure that everything is blended out on the edges so it looks like it's still a fresh pulsing wound. Now that we got it all laid down, we're going to be taking a fluffier brush and just blending out the edges so it does look more realistic. And after taking my blood in tube and taking another cosmetic sponge and blending it into the centers and also making sure that I do make a drip on the side just to make it look a little bit more bloody and gory. That is all for my Halloween look and if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you guys in my next Halloween tutorial. Bye guys!